All right, guys, welcome to Real Classic Film Reviews and welcome to the part of the channel where we have a little look at uh, some recent pickups that I've made. Uh, as you will have uh, seen by the title, this is the um, small box of bits and pieces that I picked up from the recent Indicator sale. Um, I was about to film um, a pickups video for what month are we now? April for whatever I picked up in March. Um, kind of got a pile of stuff off to the side here and realised that... I still had this sat there. Um, I'd kind of opened it just to make sure it was all right, but I've yet to kind of really get into it. As you'll see, it's all kind of covered in bubble wrap. So there's a few bits and pieces in here. I'm not entirely sure what is in here. I need to have, kind of have a bit of a look, but I, I know one thing, there's a, a box set in here and then a few of the single releases. So I thought without further ado, we would crack it open on camera together. Um, so, well, as you can see straight away there, we've got oh, Colombian Noir, um volume four and a few other little bits and pieces in there so um as many of you will have done i'm sure um once the kind of sale was announced everybody was uh i saw kind of all over social media that you know people were hoping the noir sets were going to be in there they've just recently announced that um, amazing looking uh blah, 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 humphrey bogard set which is an absolute must-have um if you've not seen that i'll put a picture of it uh, up here so you can check it out but these noir sets are for me an absolute must i mean i've, I've just recently finished work <laughs> working my way through uh volume one so i'm a little bit behind but you know you've got to pick these up especially when they go on sale um you know six films there uh, you know i can't really kind of tell you that I've, i know a great deal about them i know they'll all be relatively good because i'm a big film noir fan the books in these things are absolutely staggering um this is volume four uh so limited to six thousand of which i've got 18 one uh, 1820 uh features walk a crooked mile uh walk east on beacon um is that walk, e walk east on beacon uh push over a bullet is waiting uh chicago syndicate the brothers rico um and if you've seen these sets before you know the quality that um indicator uh you know the, the, the care and attention that they put into there. So that's going to go really well with the first three volumes uh, up on the old uh, indicator area, indicator shelf. So that is Columbia Noir number four. Right, so let's have a little look. So next up, uh, I picked up a, just like a little kind of modest handful of movies. So with indicator, I know they do these, uh, they do the kind of initial run of the releases and then they'll do um, like a regular release. And with Indicator, I tend to collect the regular releases over the um, initial releases, if you like. A, to kind of keep the cost down. Um, and B, as kind of sad as it is, it, just for some uniformity on the shelf. Um, oh, we've got... Oh, what's this? All right, okay. little uh, pack of cards there. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, there's quite a few there. Is that... Dracula, yeah, I thought it was. Um, Pastor Hall, Carnal Knowledge, uh, The Bullfighter and the Lady, The Swimmer, Burt Lancaster film, and The Big Gun Down with Van Cleef and Millie Ann. So, very nice, very nice. So, we've got, let's have a look what we've got. Uh, so, let's start off with... Uh, suddenly last summer yes uh, a film that i've not seen but i'm really really kind of looking forward to watching taylor hepburn cliff there uh, a joseph l mankowitz film um don't know a great deal about it if you've seen it uh, let me know down in the comments uh, and I, i'd imagine that most of these films or a few of these films that i picked up will be first time watches for me or blind buys i should say um because when the sale's on and, and they're discounted that much then it's the ideal time to kind of um you know kind of dip your toe in the water and and see what's what but you know probably can't go wrong with a cast like that and uh you know the, the kind of production and directing pedigree there uh spiegel mankowitz so that's uh suddenly last summer next up we have uh the collector right yeah so a film that i haven't seen but i've been meaning to pick up for a long long time uh terence stamp samantha egger um i think obviously directed by wyler um is he a collector of, of, of women? Does he kind of keep women? I'm not sure. Let me know, guys. Uh, again, not too familiar with the film, but definitely looking forward to uh, checking that out. 
Um, next up, we've got uh, The Deadly Affair, so a film that I have seen, a uh, Sidney Lumet film. Massive Sidney Lumet fan, massive fan of pretty much most of that cast, James Mason especially, uh, based on uh, John le Carre's A Call for the Dead, if I'm not mistaken. Probably doesn't say on there. Uh, but I'm a big kind of spy thriller film, a uh, spy thriller film fan. Um, Mason, Maximilian Schell. Definitely one to uh, add to the spy collection there. And last but not least, guys, we have got The New Centurions uh, featuring Stacey Keach and George C. Scott. Um, again, haven't seen it. Don't know a great deal about it. Um, really looking forward to kind of checking that out. Um, directed by Richard Fleischer as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, one that's been on my to watch list for a while. So, you know, we've got Centuri New Centurions, Deadly Affair. The Collector, Suddenly Last Summer, and of course, uh, the uh, Film Noir Volume 4 box set. So uh, that's the lot, guys. Uh, finally managed to get it unboxed. Finally managed to uh, get it out of its packaging. Looking forward to getting those on the shelf and looking forward to uh, finally getting around to filming my March haul video and uh, hope to see you guys there. But for now, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.